considered an unsinkable aircraft carrier, Israel is a sort of bastion of Western values in the Middle East and a barometer for tensions in the region. In turn, the US has served as guarantor of Israel's independence through military and diplomatic support. Has America's role in the Middle East changed? Is it still the ally it once was? The United States is no longer going to be the policeman of the world. America is going to adopt a collegial approach to foreign policy, work together with allies and not with traditional allies, but with new allies. A heavy reliance on international institutions such as the UN, a reluctance to project force. America may be ret retreating from the Middle East, and if that happens, we are the losers because America has been so much the mainstay of our security and has been and is still our ally in, in so many ways. Civilian, economic, political, emotional, cultural, you name it. Now, if that were to happen, should we look for substitutes? Should we look for some other powers that could give us and with us replace what America may be taken away? You have great powers emerging to the East. The Chinese, who give us no problem about the Palestinians. The Indians, who also couldn't care less about other things. These are the great powers. Others said, hold it, it's not only the East. We, can, we have a special relationship with Russia. So we should not withdraw from that special relationship. The scary thing is that when America withdraws, some of these allies become uh, freelancers. We sometimes criticize a country like Saudi Arabia as a freeloader, uh, someone taking advantage of American secur security guarantees. But I would, I would make the argument that on balance, a, a, fr a freeloader is better than a freelancer. If Saudi Arabia acquires nuclear weapons, which it could well do, if Saudi Arabia starts wars on its periphery, which it already has done, the consequences of those actions may ultimately be more serious to regional and international security than the price we have to pay for providing Saudi Arabia with credible security assurances. So we are better off globally when we are bonding often hostile countries like the Saudis, the Egyptians, the Israelis, the Taiwanese, the Vietnamese to us in Washington rather than allowing them to spin off unpredictably in different directions.